Performing Tasks in Excel, an STC tutorial. Inserting headers, creating a table, and applying cell borders. Today we're going to carry out some tasks in Excel. For example, you might at one point want to insert a header. So to do that, go up to the Insert tab, click on it, then go over to where header and footer is, click on that, and you can insert a header into any of these three places. For example, you might want to type in your name, whatever that is, so you click out of it and you're back in your worksheet. Now we're going to create a little table and I'm going to merge and center a title. So I have highlighted the cells and I go back to the home tab and over here click merge and center to merge and center your title. And then enter the title. Okay, now we enter the information. And you can use your arrow keys or tab and enter to navigate your cells. Now, to adjust these cells so they fit the text, you can go up here, double click once you have it on between the cells double click and it will resize once you have that little two arrows in the line and so you can adjust all of them so they fit. Now go back to entering, entering information Okay. Now that we have our table, we can apply cell borders if we so choose. We just have to highlight the entire table and go up here and see this. This is where you can apply borders and I want all borders. So click on that and it creates lines to border your cells. Applying cell shading. We can also customize our table by applying cell shading. I'm going to start with my title, click on it. In our home tab under the font group, have this little arrow in the corner, click on this, and this opens up how you can format your cells. We want to be in the fill section, and then you choose the color you want to fill for cell shading. I'm going to pick this one and then click OK. I'm going to continue with my headers, highlight these, the arrow, fill, pick a color and the rest. I'm going to do it to my data as well. Highlight this. Arrow. Fill. Okay, now our cells are shaded. And now I'm going to also bold my title and header so it's um, easier to see. The B for bold. Conditional formatting. You might also want to format your data. So for example, if you want to highlight in red text all the numbers that are over 4,000, you highlight all your data. And then under the Home tab still, go over to Conditional Formatting, click on this. Under Highlight Cell Rules, go to Greater Than, since we want numbers greater than 4,000. And then in this cell right here, type in the number you want greater than to be highlighted we want with red text. So scroll down, red text, click OK. Now everything that's above 4000 is highlighted in red text. Filtering your data. You might also at one point want to filter your data so that it's maybe in alphabetical order. So to do that, go ahead and highlight this. Now under data, we want this right here. A to Z means it's filtered in alphabetical order from A to Z and this will be the opposite. We want A to Z. Click on this and it automatically sorts it like this. Inserting a chart. If you ever need to insert a chart, first you have to highlight the data that you want on the chart. So 
Start by highlighting the data. Go up to the Insert tab, click on it. Now there's some sample chart selection here, but if you want something different, click on this little arrow in the chart section corner. And there's more options for chart types. But I'm going to pick um, clustered column and click OK. And now we have our chart. Inserting titles for a chart and its axes. Now we're going to label our chart. So select your chart, go to Layout, up the tabs, go over to Chart Title, and I'm going to choose Center Overlay, type in the title of your chart, make sure your chart is still selected, go over to Axis Titles, I'm going to start with the horizontal axis, and put it below. Type in the title of that axis, and go over to the other axis, the vertical, and I want it displayed horizontally. And then type in the title of that axis. Formatting the colors and values of a chart. You can also manipulate your chart a little bit. Say if you want your tulips to show up as pink and not green, click on this bar, right click, and choose Format Data Series. Choose Fill, and have Solid Fill. Now you can choose the color, and I'm going to choose Pink. Hit Close. Now it's changed. And you can also manipulate your values over here. Click on this, right click, choose Format, format Axis. And now, say you want to keep your minimum the same, which is zero, Say I want to choose my maximum to be 14,000 instead of 12,000. Choose Fixed. Type in 14,000. I'm going to keep these units the same. Hit Close. And now it's all changed. Formatting how things like dates appear. At one point, you may have the need to reformat how your dates appear in your cells. Under the Home tab, in the Number section, click on this little arrow in the corner, scroll down to date and here you can see all the choices you have for how your dates can appear now the reason these haven't already reformatted is because there isn't a comma once you put the comma in and go to the next cell it automatically changes to what the preset set at so go ahead and change all these and now we're going to highlight them all and we're going to change it Date. We're going to pick this style, click OK, and they automatically change to whatever style you pick. As a side note, the same path that allows you to change how your dates appeared can also help you to change similar things like how your negative numbers appear, currency, and so forth. Working with formulas, calculating the sum. Now we're going to start working with formulas. At one point, you may want to input totals for your table, so I'm going to add total to our header. Now, Excel actually provides an auto sum feature within the Home tab, going across here. You click Auto Sum, and it'll automatically input the sum for you. You click Enter, and it inputs it for you. Now, click on the cell again, and right in the corner here, if you drag down, you can calculate the totals for your entire column instead of doing them all individually. Creating a pie chart. Now that we've calculated the totals for this table, I'm going to branch off from formulas and show you how to properly create a pie chart. Being these totals relate to these headers, I'm going to highlight these headers, hold down control, and then highlight these totals. Going up to the insert tab, clicking, go over to where pie is, you can choose any of these pie chart designs. I'm going to choose this one. And then it gives you your pie chart. You can do similar process with customization and formatting with, uh, that you did with the first chart. Continuing to work with formulas. Continuing to work with formulas, there may come a time when you need to calculate a formula that isn't included in Excel's auto feature. For example, I want to find the median of this row. Now first I'm going to label it. Now, 
we've clicked on our cell that we want the median in, press equals, type in the name of the formula, parenthesis. Now you want to click and drag the cells that you want included. Then click enter. Now it's given you your median, and to calculate the medians for the entire column, just click and drag in the, from the corner. Now you have the medians for this side of the table. Calculating specific formulas. Now, say you wanted to calculate a specific formula. Say you want to add the cells in this row together and then multiply them by a particular cell. So begin by typing equals, beginning parenthesis, start adding these cells together. This cell, the plus sign, this cell, another plus sign, then this cell, then ending parenthesis. Add in the multiplication sign. And now, in order to isolate the cell we're multiplying by, you need to add in the dollar sign, then the first part of the cell navigation, which is F3, so need F, then another dollar sign, then 3. Then type enter, and it gives you your specific formula answer. Now, I'm going to apply this to the whole column, and now the whole column has been calculated. Formatting how numbers appear. Now, you may also want to format how your numbers appear in your table. For example, say I want to manipulate how many decimal points the numbers in my table have. So I'm going to highlight my whole table. Now within the Home tab, in the Numbers section, there's two buttons that can either decrease the decimal point or increase it. I'm going to increase it by two by clicking twice. Now. I can also take this away if I don't want it anymore by clicking this arrow and clicking general so there's no specific format. Now say I also wanted to display currency instead. Highlight the table within the home tab, number section again, clicking on the dollar sign will display it as currency. And again to take it away, click on general and it's back to normal again. Now, for similar purposes, when I've displayed percents in the same section, click on the percent sign, and now all your data is displayed in percentages. And to take it away, general. Linking to another sheet. Now, say you want to create hyperlinks so that different places in your document will link to other sheets in Excel. For example, I'm going to click this cell, Go up to the Insert tab, go over to Hyperlink, click on it. Now we're linking inside the document, so choose Place in this document, and I'm going to link to Sheet 2, and click OK. Now, whenever you click on this, it'll link you to Sheet 2. Now we can go back to Sheet 1, and here we are. Excel tutorial provided by Rachel, SVSU, software used. Microsoft Office Excel 2007, Camtasia Studio 7, and Windows Vista.